and welcome back to the channel. So thanks very much for everybody joining in and obviously supporting the channel. Really, really appreciate that. Today, what I am doing is we are in our new place, um, but we're not in the new setup for the spiders, what we want to do at the minute. But um, it's just in our new home and I just want to show you one because I'm absolutely over the moon and it is the very first time. So this one here, we have a female and I've never had a female of this at all. So I get like four, maybe five. Right, let's just see if we can. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Let's see if I can get her up to give you a shot. Whoa. Look at that. And that is my Caravina Versicolor. Confirmed female, first one I've ever got. So I'm absolutely over the moon. And I think you'll agree the colours are absolutely amazing. Sorry about the jumpy camera. Oh my god, you can actually see this pink hairs on the glycerate. Sorry about my jumpy hands. That is amazing to see. I can actually go in. I've got a new camera now and I can get in a lot closer. 100 times zoom on that, but there you go, she's going off. So I just wanted to give you a quick shot of that because I'm absolutely amazed by her. She's, she's in her adult coloration, but she's not. Um, sorry, I'll pass that to you. She's nowhere fully grown. She's um, a juvenile, but the molts that we had previously are always too small. And some species tend to suck the moisture out of the molts and they destroy it. So you can't really get... Um, uh, to confirm it because it's always just ripped apart, especially between the book lungs. But she left it, I caught her molting that day, give her time to separate from it, and then I quickly took it before she turned around, give her some moisture and some a drink, and she was fine. And then I sexed it, and I was absolutely over the moon. It is a female. So first one I've had, I don't know if anybody's got lots of these, but I'm trying to keep as many as I can, but just to get one female on just over the moon, that was just huge for me. So I'm just going to continue growing her on, uh, collect some more so we can get some males as well. And then we'll have like a breeding pair and then that's going to be within us all together. But just wanted to show you the Caribbean diversity colour and all that beautiful colour. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video and I'll see you on the next one. That's it.